Hi everybody, this is Sarah at Health by Sarah. Today I want to share with you what I am bringing in my birth center bag, but I'm also including um, things that you might need for the hospital as well. First of all, you should definitely bring a copy of your birth plan, um, whether it's to either place, and maybe even multiple copies, um, you know, for the nurses and for the doctors. Um, also, you need to bring your IDs, of course, an insurance card. Um, bring some hair ties because you're definitely wanna, go, going to want to keep your hair back, especially if it's long. Um, also, bring some comfortable clothes to labor in, um, a change of clothes as well, and I plan on my husband packing a change of clothes for him as well because we don't know how long we'll be there. Um, I didn't realize this, but the birth center does not provide gowns because I was actually completely fine with wearing the hospital gown. Some people aren't, but um, I just didn't really want to ruin my own clothes. But I'll have to find a few pairs of clothes that I'm comfortable in, but also don't care about ruining. <laughs> um, also, I plan on bringing a bathing suit or a bikini because it's easy to get in and out of, especially if you want to labor in the tub. It just makes it much easier. Um, I'm also planning on bringing a sports bra just to have a change of clothes as well. Um, you know, if, if something gets too wet and it's too hard to take off. Um, I recommend bringing toiletries. Um, bring everything that you might need from skincare, soap, shampoo and conditioner, hairbrush and comb, toothbrush, toothpaste, contact solution, glasses if you wear those. Um, for makeup, I'm planning on just bringing like Flawless and Five from Beauty Counter. Um, I also use Beauty Counter for skincare and a number of other personal care items as well. So that's mostly what I'll be bringing um, and my husband can use that as well. Um, I plan on bringing a camera and our phones and chargers for those, um, flip-flops to be comfortable in and walk around easily, non-skid socks, um, and I plan on bringing a number of snacks and drinks. So take a look. I just recently purchased some honey sticks from my local farmer, so this is actually raw local honey. Um, I got five. I thought that that might be enough. I also have um, some honey sticks I bought from before that I didn't end up using and they have cinnamon in them so I might bring those as well. Um, bringing this coconut water, um, it's obviously not a liquid but you just add water to it um, from the directions but it, it has some other ingredients in there to give you some energy so I just thought that this would be a great thing to bring. Um, I also plan on bringing Purium's um, Apothecary Tart Cherry Juice, um, and both of these, um, if you want to shop at Purium, I have a discount for them, Health by Sarah. I'll include all that information below, but you can get $50 off of your, $50 or 25% off your first order, but I just think um, both of these are a great idea for my labor because I know coconut water can give you a lot of energy, and same with juice, um, so this is um, a natural kind of juice that I'm comfortable bringing and consuming. Um, also, water. It's encouraged that you drink lots of water during labor, filtered water preferably. And I plan on adding these concentrates minerals, just a few drops, um, to each of my bottles of water, along with um, a couple drops of Rescue Remedy. It's a natural stress relief. Um, just these things have been reported to help give energy during labor. Um, I also plan on bringing some date bars. Um, these are mock layer bars from Trader Joe's and they're basically the same ingredients except for flaxseed and um, they just kind of give you some quick energy. Like all these things, they're all about giving you quick energy. Um, mostly you don't want to eat like a heavy meal during labor unless it's like really early labor. Um, but especially more sugary things are better for that time. Um, since I was shopping at Trader Joe's today, 
I saw these coconut sesame seed clusters. Um, I'll show you the ingredients on the back. Um, you can see it, they're pretty clean ingredients. Um, the only downside is it does have coconut sugar and tapioca syrup. I, I usually try to avoid sugar in um, convenient food items, even if they're like real food ingredients. Um, but in this case, I think that this would be helpful for me because as I said, during labor, you want that quick energy. And so you do want those sugars to help you get through it. I also plan on bringing dates, um, either just um, unprocessed dates like this or um, the layer bars like I have. I actually have a recipe on my website, which I can link below, and have a recipe for coconut rolled dates as well, which I will also link below. Um, so I'll either make those or even buy those at the store if I don't have time to make them. Another thing I got at Trader Joe's, uh, organic string cheese. It's Mozzarella cheese, um, very good ingredients in here. I wish they were grass fed. Um, it doesn't specify in here, but at least it is organic. Um, and I didn't want to just go shopping around, so I just grabbed it because my goal today was getting some labor snacks. Um, while I was there, I also picked up some grass fed beef bars. Um, this one is Chomps, the brand. I think you can see the ingredients. Hang on. Um, oh, right here. Right there on the front. Um, pretty good ingredients, and it's grass-fed beef. And then this is another company I love, Epic. This is grass-fed bison, and it also has very good ingredients in it. And I just figured I might need a couple meat sticks. Even if I end up throwing up some of this food, I think it might be helpful in giving me more energy throughout labor. Also, popsicles are really great. I still need to shop for some. I was thinking about making my own, but I don't have popsicle molds anymore, so I might just buy them at the store if I find some with some organic and good ingredients. I may have seen some at Publix. I know definitely... Um, a health food store or Earth Fair or Whole Foods would have a good brand. I actually got one at a local health food store the last time that were organic and they had very clean ingredients. So I might look for that again. I also plan on making some ra raspberry leaf tea um, ice cubes uh, sweetened with honey again to give me some extra energy through labor. Um, taking my prenatal with me um, to help me get some energy or um, sustenance during labor as well. Um, also, I haven't talked to you guys about this, but I've been taking vitamin C since before I got pregnant this time around. Um, actually, mega doses of it. And I've research this a lot. Um, this is ascorbic acid. It's non-GMO. Um, this is a really great company that I love, Revitalize Wellness, um, especially because they're non-GMO and they, they do testing on their products as well. Um, but anyway, I've been researching uh, taking mega doses of vitamin C during pregnancy and during labor and um, there have been studies done on pregnant women to show the safety of that. Um, there was a doctor named Dr. Klenner who studied pregnant women. Like they, uh, he had them take five grams of vitamin C every day during the first trimester, then 10 grams during the second trimester every day, and then 15 grams during the third trimester every day. Um, and he found that those women, um, none of them had miscarriages. Um, None of them had stretch marks, which is incredible, and they just, they had greater elasticity in their birth canals. Um, they just had, like, easier labors, um, faster labors, less tearing and, and stretching than women who weren't taking mega doses of vitamin C. So that was worth it for me to try it, especially since 
um, the safety of it has been not determined. I can link to information on that below as well. Um, I plan on taking this Coco Lauren um, Pink Stork. I have another video on how this helped me through morning sickness. It was like the answer for me. Um, but I also noticed that it started helping me with my heartburn during pregnancy and I don't have any heartburn anymore. Um, I think homeopathy may have helped with that, but definitely I noticed a difference when taking this um, two or three times a day instead of once a day. Um, my heartburn just disappeared. So I learned from my midwives that um, whatever has been helping me with heartburn, I should be taking during labor as well because um, I had uh, terrible nausea in my first labor and birth. Um, that had me just throwing everything up and so they said um, the same things that can help you with heartburn can also help you with the nausea so I will be taking this at least a couple times um, and that brings me to uh, homeopathy because um, I know that homeopathy can help tremendously during labor whether like if you're not progressing enough or with nausea um, helping you deal with the pain. It won't completely get rid of the pain. Nothing will, of course. Um, not even the epidural, by the way, because I still felt pain and other women do too. So they never promise that all the pain is removed. Um, but I want to go through some of the remedies that my homeopath told me to have on hand. Um, I can't give you advice on which ones to take because that's very individualized during labor. But I just recommend that if you're not a homeopath, or if you haven't studied homeopathy, to have a homeopath on call during labor if you need their help. So he told me to have colophyllum, semisifuga, sepia, pulsatilla, cali carb, cali phos 6C and 30C, um, staphysagria, ipecac, uh, arnica, belladonna, nux vomica, and phosphorus. And um, all those I mentioned are in the 30C potency, except for um, Califos 6C and 30C. So um, those are all pretty easy to get, especially if you have a kit like me. Um, most of those are included in a 30C remedy kit. Um, so I'll make sure that I have all those um, prepared in my bag. Um, I also plan on bringing essential oils. Um, the ones that I can think of that would be most important, at least for me, would be lavender, bergamot, and frankincense because those are relaxing and good smelling oils to me. Um, also black, black pepper essential oil may be helpful for some bad back pain, so I'm gonna bring that along as well. Um, oh, I forgot to mention with the food earlier, um, I also recommend bringing yogurt or kefir, um, sweetened with honey or some fruit um, and also bringing nuts so the key is just bringing some lighter snacks but snacks that might have protein and fat in them to give you some energy but also some sugar because that sh sugar is going to give you that quick energy that you need um, I also recommend um, for back pain biofreeze is a good product that can help specifically with back pain. Um, also, making a rice sock, which is very simple to do. I have a YouTube video on that, which I can link below as well. Um, having a meal after birth um, for you and your husband or, or maybe whoever else is with you at the birth center. Um, you might wanna have a freezer meal ready because depending on when you give birth, um, it might be the middle of the night and nothing is open or nothing nutritious is open. It might just be fast food and that's definitely not a very good or nutritious meal to have after birth. Um, I do have a postpartum pig's feet soup that was recommended to me by my acupuncturist to have every day for the first week, six weeks postpartum. I will link to that as well because that gave me so much energy. Um, it made me feel so balanced. Um, 
It may sound gross to have pig's feet, but it's actually so good for you, this, this soup, and I highly recommend making it or having somebody make it for you. A nursing pillow. Now, I thought this was, um, this was kind of over the top. I was like, I don't need to invest in a nursing pillow. I, we have plenty of pillows at home, or I'll be fine without it, but the truth is, um, I was in a lot of pain nursing the first few days because I didn't have a nursing pillow because I started nursing my daughter um, in a bad position and it caused me to get really bad blisters. So um, once I got this nursing pillow, it's called my breast friend, I'll link to that below. It was definitely worth, worth the investment. Um, I can't emphasize that enough because it really relieved my pain to have her in the proper nursing position. Also, you should bring a diaper bag for the baby with, with diapers, wipes, um, blankets, um, clothes for the baby, of course, so onesies and socks and other things to keep the baby warm. Um, you also want to bring after delivery clothes for you. Um, have your car seat and have it installed. Um, go to somebody who knows how to install it properly. Usually the fire department or the police department has somebody who can help you um, show you how to put it in properly. I actually um, went to the police station and had a police officer show me how to install it properly. So that was very helpful. Um, and lastly, you should get some large, either disposable or reusable pads, um, preferably organic cotton pads. Um, there's just been so many problems with women using the, the synthetic pads or the, or the bleach pads. So um, I definitely recommend, um, especially if you are using disposable pads, to get them organic and you wouldn't want to use tampons at this time, so just use pads um, that can cause more damage. So I hope you found this video helpful and informative, and let me know in the comments what you did or what you're planning on doing. I'd love to hear from you, and please like this video and share, and please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye!